हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट आईसीसीपी आईसीसीपी स्टैंड्स फॉर इम्प्रेस्ड करंट कैथोटिक प्रोटेक्शन दिस सिस्टम्स आर यूज्ड टू प्रोटेक्ट द मेटल सरफेसेस ऑफ शिप्स एक्सपोज टू मरीन एनवायरनमेंट आईसीसीपी सिस्टम कंसिस्ट ऑफ सेक्रिफिशियल एनोड्स कनेक्टेड टू एन एक्सटर्नल पावर सोर्स बिफोर स्टार्टिंग आईसीसीपी वी विल डिस्कस हाउ वी कैन प्रोटेक्ट अवर शिप हल from corrosion and why iccp is preferred over all these methods common ways of protecting ship hull from corrosion first is anti fouling paints second sacrificial anode and third is iccp ships are often exposed to very harsh marine environments due to the environment in which they operate the ship's hull is often vulnerable to environmental corrosion so for protecting the ship from getting corroded we use this techniques first is the anti fouling paint it makes the boat easier to clean and safer to navigate it creates a film between the surface of the hull and the environment protecting it anti corrosion board paint protects metal hulls against corrosion anti fouling paint is a specialized category of coatings applied as a outer outboard layer to the hull of the ship or boat to slow the growth of and facilitate detachment of subaquatic organism that attach to the hull and can affect the vessel's performance and durability the corrosivity of sea water in regard to general corrosion on steel increases with increasing temperature oxygen content water velocity the content of corrosive contaminants eroding particles and conductivity now what is galvanic cell when two dissimilar metals are in contact with each other in the presence of corrosive medium the more active metal in the galvanic series act as an anode and undergoes corrosion this means in a galvanic series of metals the more active metal acts as anode and undergoes corrosion and the less active metal acts as a cathode and stay protected if these two metals are placed in sea water and are in direct electrical contact a current will pass through the electrolyte from the more active metal that is anode on to the least active metal that is cathode this electrical current is referred to as corrosion current so how does corrosion take place on ships ships are made of steel whose main component is iron iron is an electrochemically positive element and has a tendency to give up electron to become free ions first anodic reaction will take place that is fe will become fe2 plus plus 2e minus as we know that sea water is composed of oxygen and hydrogen and it produces electrochemically negative hydroxide ion that is o2 plus 4e minus plus 2H2O will become 4OH which can accept the electrons given by iron third the iron ions combine with the hydroxide ion in sea water to form ferrous hydroxide that is Fe2+ plus 2OH- minus will become FeOH2 this is called the oxidization of iron fourth this ferrous hydroxide in the presence of excess oxygen in water is oxidized to form ferric oxide and water which we call rust that is 4feoh2 plus o2 will become 2fe2o3 plus 4h2o the heterogeneity of mild steel in the hull of the ship along with factors such as non uniformity of hull plate thickness 
paint thickness and quality variation in the ship structure welding seams dissimilar metal and oxygen content in the sea water combined to cause areas in the hull to work cathodes and anode and thereby forming a galvanic cell sacrificial anode with the galvanic series we know that the more active metal that is anode can corrode in the place of less active metal that is cathode by coupling the ship structure with a more active metal such as zinc or magnesium a galvanic cell is created in which the active metal working as an anode provide a flux of electron to the structure which then become the cathode the cathode is protected and the anode progressively get dissolved which is hence called as sacrificial anode elements such as zinc aluminum magnesium or their alloys are used as a sacrificial anode to protect the parent element like iron or steel which forms the cathode however this sacrificial anode do have some disadvantage such as increased maintenance due to replacement every 5 year increased hull resistance and no proper mean to detect whether the anode is functioning properly the need for iccp we now know from the galvanic cell and the sacrificial anodes that the potential difference between two electrodes is required for corrosion currents to occur these corrosion currents dissolve the anode in the electrolyte but in the absence of a potential difference within the ship's hull the corrosion current will be at minimum and the corrosion will not take place this is what the iccp does it makes the hull to remain always cathode by keeping the potential difference to a minimum and introducing a current opposite to the neutral corrosion current thereby protecting the anode and avoiding corrosion impressed current cathodic protection that is iccp impressed current cathodic protection systems are the technologically advanced and long term solution to corrosion problem and is regarded as a superior alternative to sacrificial anode system in the iccp the metal to be protected is connected to an insoluble anode and the current is passed using a dc source opposite to the corrosion current so that the corroding metal get converted from anode to cathode and is protected from corrosion this insoluble anode can be either platinum platinized titanium or any other inert elements under normal circumstances without the insoluble anode a corrosion current is set up which corrodes the anode however in this case we pass a dc current opposite to the neutral corrosion current between the anode and cathode this dc current has to be equal to or slightly greater than the natural corrosion current so that the anode is now protected and does not corrode the same principle is applied to ships here a contact point is taken on the hull of the ship and is connected to a reference electrode this reference electrode is a completely passive insoluble metal the reference electrode measures the natural corrosion current which is nothing but the potential difference between the hull and this reference cell we need to measure this corrosion current in the hull so that we supply a dc current that is either equal to or slightly greater than that is in the opposite direction to the impressed current anode this in turn supplies a protecting current to the hull of the ship making the hull a cathode protected from corrosion the iccp operation and its components dc 24 volt output power supply unit and control panel the dc power supply may include a rectifier unit converting 440 volt ac supply to dc current larger ships usually have 
टू पावर सप्लाई यूनिट्स ईच इन द फॉरवर्ड एंड द आफ्ट द पावर सप्लाई यूनिट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज क्वांटम आईसीसीपी पैनल एंड इट कंटेन्स अ नेटवर्क ऑफ थायरिस्टर एंड पीसीबीज व्हिच मॉनिटर वोल्टेज एंड करंट पैरामीटर फ्रॉम द रेफरेंस सेल एंड अकॉर्डिंगली सेंड सिग्नल टू द इम्प्रेस्ड करंट एनोड्स दिस पावर सप्लाई यूनिट हैव अ मास्टर स्लेव कॉन्फिग्रेशन between the forward and aft unit and performance can be monitored from the ecr monitor panel the control panel is incorporated with alarms for abnormal reading second impressed current anodes the impressed current anodes are usually made up of strong insoluble materials like titanium they may be disc or stripe shape either two or four units are placed symmetrically forward and aft of the vessel the anodes are welded on doubler plates on to the hull surface so as to be completely flush to the outside hull plate these anode material serves only as a source of electron to the hull and is not consumed in providing this protective current zinc reference cell the electrical potential is monitored by reference electrode assembly which is fitted port and starboard between the anodes where the lowest possible potential is likely to occur so as to detect the slightest of corrosion currents between the hull and sea water this reading is fed back to the control panel which automatically adjusts the impressed current anode output they are connected through cable lugs and gasket and are bolted through a coffer dam body onto the hull surface these zinc reference cells are highly stable in nature and gives a steady reference in which hull and sea potential can be measured along with small current flow in the system these electrodes are completely diver changeable fresh water passage when ship moves from sea water to fresh water its electrical conductivity reduces and its resistivity increases because of reduced conductivity the reference cell will not be able to detect the potential difference at this time it is important to limit the output protective current from the impressed current anode during fresh water passage the automatic control in the power supply unit of the iccp will increase its rectified voltage to a maximum so as to limit the impressed current and avoid overprotection and save the hull at terminals the ship's iccp if switched on will try to protect the jetty as well thereby increasing the current in the system this can lead to an overload hence the iccp power source is always switched off in port the iccp being very underrated machinery is often overlooked in the engine room and is overhauled and inspected usually in dry dock